be back to Trev's Travels by Narrowboats. A couple of announcements to make in this video. First of all, let me let you know where we are. Well, we've just come off the Shropshire Union Canal, literally about, I don't know, 500 yards down the cuts here. We're now onto the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. Yes, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Well, commonly just called the Staffs and Worcesters. So anyway, first announcement to make is that on Tuesday, the 23rd of November, I am the guest on Forgo Narrowboating. So mark that one in your calendar to come and join in the fun. Secondly, don't forget, we're getting very close to Christmas. Don't forget to go to my website and order your last minute Christmas cards and any last minute Christmas presents. I've uploaded some more photographs there now that can be mounted and sent to you in time for that last minute Christmas gift. Anyway, let's get on with the cruising. Here we go. After leaving the Shropshire Canal, Shroppy, with all those deep cuttings and narrow pieces, I wasn't quite expecting to find more cuttings very narrow here, the Staffs and Wuss Canal. But here we have it, look. We've been going through this very narrow cutting now for quite some time. Well, it seems like we've now left that very narrow cutting behind. The canal is starting to widen out. And it looks like we've got some open countryside coming up. Let's see what's around the corner. Good morning and welcome back. Well, I'm off the Shroppy. Yes, I left the Shroppy Union Canal yesterday. And I am now on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. I didn't actually film coming through the stop block and coming onto here. I made a very grave error. I, uh, I have three batteries for this camera and all three ended up flat, yes. I had one in the camera which ran out just before I got there. I thought I had two on charge and guess what? I'd forgotten to plug the USB into the USB socket on the boat. So I didn't film any of that. Anyway, we start off this morning. I'm moored up just before Latches Bridge, I think it's called. And I'm heading up towards Penkridge. I probably won't get that far today. But that's the direction we're going in on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. Let's go. Well, I did more where I thought I was moored. I was near Lashes Bridge. Something I found really, really nice since I joined the, I'm going to call it the Staffs and Worcester Canal rather than the uh, Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal, just a little easier to say. So since I've been on the Staffs and Worcester Canal, all of the towpath has been kept nicely cut down. Now I know some of you are going to go out there and cry and say, oh what about the wildlife, what about the wildlife? Well, do you know what, six foot beyond the, the canal, past the towpath, we have loads and loads and loads of space for the wildlife and of course the bank on the other side is not cut down so I think there's plenty of space for both of us if you need to stop in an emergency having a towpath cut down and easily accessible is extremely important especially if you're someone like me single-handed boating you know, if I happen to break down, I need to be able to get to the edge quite easily. So, I've just come off of, of course, the Shropshire Union Canal, and places on that, some of the overgrowth near the edge of the canal is ridiculous. There's even trees growing, so there's no way you can even pull a boat along by rope. So any horse-drawn boats 
are definitely a no-go in places along there. Anyway, I did enjoy the uh, Shropshire Union Canal, but since I've been on here, on the Staffs and Wuss, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Mind you, the sun is shining, which also helps. Anyway, I'm going to pick up the revs a little bit and carry on cruising. I've just come through Deepmoor Bridge. Real funny angle of attack coming into that one. It's a lovely bridge still though, isn't it? Brick built, not stone built. Well, I must say we're traveling through some wonderful countryside here. These beautiful oak trees. You know when you see large oak trees like this, they were planted probably over a hundred years ago. Absolutely gorgeous. Hazels in front, some hawthorn, and not to mention the bracken. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. The sun just glistening through the trees here. Loving every minute of it. And of course, it wouldn't be England without the old ash tree, would it? As we go around the corner and I forgot to almost turn. why I blasted my horn there. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Oh, that was why I blasted the horn. Look, here we're approaching the junction of the Hafferton Canal, which has been derelict since around 1955, actually closed in 1949. It's now under restoration as the Litchfield and Hafferton Canal Society which has been going on, I believe, since around about 1989. Plans for restoration go back well beyond 1989. Restoration was first drawn up in 1975, but that was before the Litchfield and Hafferton Canal Society was formed. As you can see, as we look up the old canal here, is now being used for moorings at this end. Behind these linear moored boats here, there's actually quite a large marina as well here by the junction, which you can just about see over the top of these boats here. I'm not sure what this is with this very tall chimney through the trees. This is Rob here in front of me trying to wind his boat in an extremely tight winding hole here right by the bridge. He does manage to turn it around and we've become quite good friends and have a drink that evening. Well, I assume that boat must have just winded here. I didn't even realize there was a winding hole here. That's a tight one, isn't it? To go in there, turn around and come back out. Oh, new bridge up here against the old bridge. And of course, my favorite people have already defaced the bridge, of course. I say new bridge, it's built in 1989. Calf Heath, number 77. And as we come through, you can see the old bridge. Well, 
as we go along here, going underneath these black and yellow marked pipe bridges, all the way along the fence here, it says strictly no mooring. But quite some way, now it's some sort of chemical building here by the looks. Now I'm not sure if they just don't want us snooping or what they're making is very dangerous and they don't want us getting contaminated. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep the throttle open and keep her going. It's another bridge here that has been in the wars. Well, I'm at Gailey. Here at Gailey we have boat facilities. There's rubbish here. I believe there's toilets in Nelson. But we're just about to go into the lock. Well, I'm going to moor up just the other side of this lock. First sort of available moor and I find. I've had enough for the day and it's time to stop and make something to eat. I'm now all nicely mauled up and had something to eat. I'm just walking back up to have a quick look at the lock and the round toll house. Well, it's not a toll house anymore, of course, but it appeared to be quite interesting. While we're doing that, I'm going to bring this video to an end. I want to thank all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, everybody for watching, and everybody for subscribing. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. And if you'd like to leave comments, I love reading your comments and I answer them all. And if you like this video, how about sharing it with your friends and get more people on board to the channel. And that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor Edge.